Twilight Horse to get Void Power back. It's very important, otherwise you have less Void Power to do the second stage of the mission. Just a note, anyway, Breeding Grounds is building. Very important, what I'm gonna do is summon an Ashbone Pyro and three Fallen... Uh, three? No, no, two Fallen Sky Elves, I think. Or three. Well, two or three Fallen Sky Elves out of the Breeding Grounds. Uh, and then destroy the Breeding Grounds to get Void Power back. And here's the Ashbone, and there's the Fallen Sky Elf. And Fallen Sky Elf is the most important part of this map. It's been a uh, cornerstone of Soul Tree Expert runs, I think. Uh, speed runs. Thanks to their Visions of Despair ability, which allows them to utterly destroy Stonekin Grinders without much trouble. And I'm already summoning another Fallen Sky Elf. Yeah, I think it's three Fallen Sky Elves I summoned. Before I destroy the Breeding Grounds. Anyway, I make short work of this uh, set of Stonekin. And the reason why I summon an Ash Bone Pyro instead of something like a Mutating Frenzy is because Ash Bone Pyro is ranged. And of course, its life still benefits greatly from the Visions of Despair of the Fallen Sky Elf. And because Ash Bone Pyro is ranged, the Ash Bone Pyro can help destroy this Stonekin Aggressor, which can be a very annoying thing to fight. As you can see, my Breeding Grounds is already destroyed. I have 100 pounds, I have 100 power, I summon another Fallen Sky Elf. So that's four Fallen Sky Elves and one Ash Bone Pyro for my main battle force. And I'm gonna destroy these Stonekin Warriors. Yeah, I, since I have a Fallen Sky Elf extra, I use Vision to Despair to kill it really fast, and the other one goes down pretty fast to my entire army. The whole point of this map is to kill all the Stonekin in this as fast as possible, because once you've accomplished that... Oh, point please. Once you've accomplished that, uh, the rest of the map is a piece of cake. All you have to do is click Army Monument, click your Torque Orb, and click. Uh, mutating frenzy, a mutating frenzy to absorb all the attack. And as you can see, I'm using the fallen sky elf to uh, visions of despair all these units and kill them just a little faster because once you kill all the stone kin, it activates the third stage near. of the map when Viridia gets into a rage mode. Where are the gods? And uh, Doomed, see, I'm playing on lowest graphic settings. You can't actually see a soul tree here. I think the soul tree looks there pretty cool, is. but fortunately, Come, on lowest graphic soul. settings, you can't in fact Let see us share it. Our power. Let us share our fury. Here are Ashbone Powers here, Viridia, just chilling, waiting for enough power to build the final monument. Oh, and uh, in case you were wondering why I didn't build a resource booster power, here, it's because uh, be able to the resource it. booster takes about now, a minute, two minutes to, to pay for itself, about. and in two minutes I could uh, easily finish the Stonekin. Uh, so the advantage of building a resource booster is not really that great at all. So best, best to go straight for the Breeding Grounds, rush monster. rush your Ashbone Powers and Fallen Scouts all the way through. Viridia, I beg you. Let I'm getting my Ashbone Pyro to grab gold. It's actually completely own. useless. Such endless hate. I never knew. And oh, what's control. this? My army monument has started construction. Don't lecture me! This is the new legendary card that I suspect Stay will become calm. very popular in most I PvE swim uh, in an runs. Ocean of rage. As it gives you T4 it when you only in fact me. have T3. She's losing control. And of course it only binds 150 power, which is much better than a regular uh, fourth orb, which Surround binds no power because you just waste all the power and goes into the void. And as they you can see, I summon a mutating frenzy to absorb Viridia's attack. Just, you know, park it over here and Viridia will zap will it to, to no avail Hold on. forever. So this is no problem at all. And uh, once I have 160 power, or 150 power if you uh, have the army monument on U3, you just upgrade it. It goes up. And you've pretty much won this map. The rest is simply waiting around for the um, Viridia to stop hitting a mutating frenzy and Moon to appear. And then when Moon appears, she's going to say, Oh, summon five orbs. Oh, wait a minute. You already have five orbs. You win the game. And that's how you do Soul Tree in 1136. Uh, I could talk a bit more. Talk a bit more. So, uh, you maybe won't have been wondering this entire replay. Have I really been playing Soul Tree? No, because uh, I found an even better map to farm with the uh, army element of conversion. The King of the Giant solo, which I will be doing next. King of the Giant solo, incredibly easy. It takes about a deck that's worth about uh, 500 Battle Forge points. Probably even less than that because the only important cards are Army Monument and uh, Lost Spirit Ships. Other than that, the rest of the cards are pretty dirt cheap. Maybe you want a Furnace of Flesh and Bombers going, but yeah, the rest of the cards are pretty dirt cheap in that one. King of the Giant Solo gives you uncommons and rares, unlike this map, which only gives you commons and uncommons. So it is about four times as efficient. <laughs> the best you could get, uh, about four times as efficient. 
but uh, I didn't find out how to solo King of the Giants until uh, maybe one or two or three days of playing Soul Tree, even though I wasn't really playing Soul Tree that much. I can't stop! Oh, moons appeared. And I just summoned a bunch of Necro players here for no reason. I'm a bit bored. Forgive me! I'm here. Right, moons here. I will absorb her rogue power now. Return your attention uh, nope. to Titan's We have about ten seconds to go before but I win I can the game. only do this for a short time. We need to banish her. Do -do -do -do. Summon five orbs. This will allow us to weave a banishing spell. And that's Sultry Expert in 11.36, which I believe is the fastest time uh, ever recorded as of now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the replay. See you all next time.